So an example involving an overhang, uh, this is actually not even an indeterminate beam, so I could use uh, techniques from statics to solve it, but I want to demonstrate the moment distribution method. Okay, uh, you notice that the uh, reaction, the horizontal reaction at A is zero, so I don't even bother showing it. So it says here, calculate the end moments and uh, reactions. A flexural rigidity is equal to a constant, and uh, once I determine the reactions, I could also draw the shear and moment diagrams but uh, I'm not going to ask for those. I just want to determine these unknown reactions. Okay, the distance between A and B is 15 feet. A to B, 15 feet. From B to C is 8 feet. Okay, so uh, for the overhang, I'd apply the fixed end moment uh, at the overhang, but the distribution factor and the carryover moment would be zero. So I do have to find the fixed end moment at B for that cantilever segment. However, the distribution factor and carryover moment would be zero for purposes of that overhang. And now step one is to draw the free body diagram. That's what I just did. Okay, step two, the distribution factor B to A is one, one on this side. At B, C, it's zero because I've got that uh, overhang. So distribution factor to B, A, all of it, 100%. And then to B, C, zero. Okay, fixed end moments for A, B and for BA. Okay, WL squared over 12, so I'm modeling this as fixed at both ends, fixed, fixed. So there's a span of 15 feet, three kips per foot. Uh, you can find this in the appendix of uh, an introductory structural analysis book. WL squared over 12, distributed load three, span 15 between A and B. So a negative 56 and a quarter, kip foot. Okay, this should be kip foot. Okay, so those are the fixed end moments for A, B, and B, A. Okay, I also need it for B, C. So for B, C, okay, just cut it here. Just analyze the portion to the right of my hand. Okay, so that's what I have here. See this? Okay, so 24 kips, where do I get that? Three kips per foot times an eight foot overhang. That's the 24, the resultant. And it acts four feet from point B. Uh, the fixed end moment would be the internal beam force. So I say a negative 96 because it's in the anti-clockwise direction or counterclockwise direction. So that's my fixed end moment to BC, negative 96. Uh, now I'm going to organize all this into a chart, uh, as I have done in my previous examples. Redraw the beam and put the fixed end moments on there. So from A to B, negative 56.25. B to A, positive 56.25. Remember I found those a minute ago? For BC, it was negative 96. Okay, so a step four. Step four, the unbalanced moment at B. Okay, 56.25 minus 96. What is that, negative 39.75? Okay, then step five. Unlock B, so the distributed end moment, 39.75. Okay, so we take the opposite sign. Remember that from my previous videos. Okay, so what? Uh, uh, that 39.75. Okay, I'm going to put that under here. This is the uh, distributed end moment. DEM. 39.75. Okay, now the joint is balanced. Okay, so I don't have to worry about distribution factor on BC because uh, that's zero. It all goes to side BA, that is the left side of the joint. Okay, step six. Carry over moment, half of that. So a half of 39.75, 19.875. So take half of this over here, 19.875. So that is, uh, what is that, the carryover moment. So that's step six. Okay, how was that? Step seven, relock the joint. Okay, that is joint B. Okay, so uh, joint B is balanced. So now add the results. Step eight, add the results. Add what result? Did you get that? Add what results? Okay, so I'm going to add column A, add column B, left side, right side, uh, nothing in column C. Okay, so watch this. I like a this, huh? Uh, the sum, negative 36.375, 96, negative 96. Uh, what good does this do? What do I do with these numbers? Okay, the next drawing, 
I'm going to take my beam and I'm going to analyze segment A, B, and B, C separately. And in doing so, I can find the unknown reactions. So you'll break it up into two segments like this, between A and B, between B and C. A to B, B to C. Between A and B, uh, between A and B, that's 3 kip per foot times 15 foot, 45 kips. Between B and C, that's 8 foot, 3 kips per foot times 8 foot, 24 kips. Okay, where am I getting the 36.375? Remember the moment distribution? At point A, 36.375 anti-clockwise. There it is. The 96, the 96, I'm getting those from this, the moment distribution method. Now uh, you can consider the equilibrium of both of these portions separately. Uh, for example, analyze segment AB, consider the sum of the moments about point A, for example, to find R sub BL. Uh, and you can find R sub BR on BC by finding the sum of the forces in the y direction. So obviously, by inspection, this is 24. Okay, once I find R sub BL, uh, then I'd add uh, whatever that is to 24 to find the reaction at B. Okay, so I find the reaction at A, find the reaction at B from the left. Okay, you notice this? Okay, so let me go back to my original drawing. Okay, so uh, the moment at A, 36.375. Okay, so moment at A. Thirty-six point three seven five. Okay, the reaction at A. Eighteen point five two five. Okay, the reaction at B. Okay, add twenty-six point four seven five to twenty-four. Fifty point four seven five. Okay, so there you have it, the three reactions.